Hello children and welcome to Snuggle! Today we're going to hear a story about the butterfly and the moth. Esty and Delphi were carefree caterpillars who lived in a beautiful garden. They were the best of friends and rolled in the grass, chased each other up and down the trees and chewed on young leaves together. One day, it came time for Esty and Delphi to make their encasement. Wanting to stay near each other, the two friends each chose a different leaf on the same tree, then spun their cocoons and chrysalis and fell into a deep sleep. A few weeks later, Esty woke up and felt a strong urge to break out of her encasement. With all her strength, she pushed and wiggled and kicked until her chrysalis cracked open. Through a little hole at the top, she managed to squeeze out. Oh, how she loved fresh air. It was just before the sun set when Delphi woke up. After a few minutes of struggle, she managed to come out of her cocoon. Oh, hi Delphi, Esty greeted her friend. You look so wrinkled and different. What happened to you? You look very different from when I last saw you too, Delphi replied. But look, we both got wings. Oh yes, Esty replied as she tried flapping them. I bet flying is going to be so much fun. After some good stretching and wing exercises, Esty and Delphi felt stronger and ready for a jump. They let go of the branch they were on and found, to their delight, that their wings kept them in the air. After a few moments, Esty and Delphi were tired and landed on a branch to rest. After regaining their strength, the two friends tried to fly again. After a few more times, Esty and Delphi were able to fly around the whole garden with ease. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling strong and ready for some fun, Delphi said. Why don't we go exploring? Well, actually, I'm feeling quite tired, Esty replied. It's dark, and I think I'll go to sleep. Oh, well, I'll see you later then, Delphi said, when she flew away. One day, as the two flew by a pond, they landed on a lily pad and looked at their reflection in the still water. Esty marveled. Oh, look, how many patterns and different colors my wings have. But Delphi was unhappy with her reflection. My body is big and hairy. The color of my wings is plain and brown with no bright colors like Esty's, she thought. Delphi began to get teary-eyed. I am nothing but an ugly old moth. I wish I could be a butterfly instead, she, she sobbed. Esty felt bad Delphi was so sad. Maybe what I said about how I look is what made Delphi sad. I didn't mean to make her compare with me. I still like her, even though she doesn't have pretty wings. What can I do to make her feel better? I will try to play with her. Come on, Delphi, let's go! Try to catch me, she said as she flew swiftly to a branch overhead. Delphi looked at her friend. Esty is so fast and graceful when she flies. I feel so awkward and slow. This made her even more unhappy. No! I don't feel like playing right now, she mumbled. Delphi was in a sulky mood and was going from bad to worse. She started murmuring in her heart. Oh God, why did you make me so ugly and awkward? Why couldn't I have been as graceful and beautiful as Esty? Not knowing what to do, Esty decided to leave her friend alone for a while when she saw her crying. Esty prayed with all her heart. Lord, please help Delphi to be happy. She's my dearest friend, and that's all that matters. Please do something to help her. So children, when your friend is not happy, why don't you take some time to pray? Because the Bible says 
the prayer of a righteous person, that's you, has great power as it is working. God will hear you when you take some time to pray. Let's pray right now. Dear Heavenly Father, we are so grateful that when we pray, you hear us and you make great power available to change any situation by the power of your Spirit, by the power of your Holy Spirit, and by the power of love. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Children, we are really looking forward to seeing you here next time on Snuggle. Bye!